So I was asked by the lovely London Lip Gloss to do a review of the Aveda Mineral Tinted Moisture uh, Foundation in the colour Bark. Um, so of course I jumped at that opportunity. Um, the packaging for it is recyclable because they are an eco-friendly brand. So sorry, it comes in a tube like this. This is a tube. It's nice packaging. It's, it's a 50ml um, tube, so it's really, really big. When I first received it in the post, I was a bit put off by the colour strip that they've got on it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see. It kind of has quite a, um, a milky tinge to it. Yeah, it's very milky looking, just the strip. So I was a bit worried, so I started to read um, the ingredients, etc, etc. And it does state on the packaging that it contains titanium dioxide. Now, I know that a lot of brands use titanium dioxide um, for the SPF. So I was a bit worried about that, obviously, because titanium dioxide is a white powder. And as I am black and I have no white undertones to my skin, having a white powder in there is quite worrying. So um, I applied it straight away that evening just to see you know what it was like how it felt etc etc and it does go on the skin very very smoothly um, what I realized straight away was that um, if you have oily skin though the packaging states that you know it has it's an oil free lotion it's not friendly for people with oily skin as soon as I applied it onto my skin it it kind of that whole milky thing that I was afraid of with the packaging kind of took over I looked like a ghost I literally looked like a dead person this is the color on my hand can see there and I've put quite a big um, dollar upon because it is a moisturizing um, foundation but I just do that oh, that's okay. so it is a moisturizing foundation so it's, it does sink into the skin beautifully so I'll just show you you rub it and it basically eventually because I've put so much on my hand it blends really, really nicely in to the skin. You can see it there. And you can see that it's leaving a really nice glow, perhaps, to my skin because it is moisturizing. But just looking at my hand, you can see, can you see that milky look to it? trying to get it to come up in the light because right right there it looks totally fine but I can't get you to see it right there so the color that you see here on my knuckle is what it actually would look like on your face it's like a really pale mink milky color you know if you have that color skin then you are more than welcome to use it but it's not a foundation that I could ever use because as you keep it on as well it is a moisturizing foundation though they say it's oil free it does react with the oil um, in your skin so like I said that milky tone when your oil when your face starts to secrete I believe the word is um, oil um, it reacts with the foundation and the titanium dioxide comes to the surface so wherever I went uh, where my oily area was like in my t-zone that entire part of my face turned white it was the most disgusting most revolting thing I've ever seen in my entire life 
it is not a buildable foundation it does have a nice um, sheer coverage to it because it's supposed to be a moisture a moisturizing a mineral tinted moisture um, so it has a sheer it has sheer coverage but you're not able to build that coverage as you try if you if you place it onto your skin say in the morning and in the afternoon you're going out to fancy lunch or something and you want to add some more foundation to give you full coverage you can't do that because as you apply the foundation for the second time to build it it removes the foundation from the first application so yeah I did initially do a review where I actually applied it to my skin but I'm just not willing to do that because I'm going out and I really cannot risk being out in public and my face turning white because I just would look like an absolute fool like I did the day that I actually wore this out um, so I'm not doing it again so yeah that's my opinion on the Aveda mineral tinted moisture SPF 15 I was so disappointed I really really wanted to find a tinted moisturizer that was fantastic for my skin tone um, because it's coming up to winter and my skin gets as does a lot of other people I get dry patches with my skin so I felt that using a tinted moisturizer would kind of be the um, best of both worlds really I'd still be able to wear foundation and have some coverage and still moisturize my skin at the same time without worrying about my skin flaking or you know having that dryness in your skin but obviously it was not meant to be so that's my ins and outs of that situation and I'd, uh, I've been fighting with myself about doing this review for the past two weeks and I just want to get it over and done with. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bye guys.